أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سورة المزمل The Enwrapped One Meccan Revealed Before Hijra Two Sections 20 Verses 285 Words and 838 letters. In the name of Allah, the most affectionate, the merciful. Section 1. Ayat number 1. Ya ayyuhal muzzammil. Or you enwrapped one. In the commentary it is mentioned. Or the one enwrapped in a sheet. Once the Holy Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam was resting, enwrapped in a sheet. He was addressed in this condition and in this manner. From this emerge two issues. Number one, while the Holy Quran has addressed other prophets by their names, our beloved Prophet Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam has been addressed by his attributes. The manner of the beloved too is beloved. The Sufi sages describe its meaning as or the beloved one going to the human being wearing the sheet of a human nature or or the one who is covered in the dress of worship and austerity. This is mentioned in Tafsir Azizi. Ayat number two. <laughs> Remain a reason to pray in the night except some portion thereof. In the commentary it is mentioned, this means spend most of the time at night in the worship of Allah Almighty. Do take some time to rest. Ayat number three. Nisfahu awinkus minhu qalila A half of it or a little less. In the commentary it is mentioned. Spend half of the night in the worship of Allah Almighty or more or less or that time. This is left to your discretion. This tells us that to perform Salat al-Tahajjad with a great deal of favor, it is left to the person to choose the number of rakats which he wishes to perform. The minimum should be two rakats while the maximum could be from 8 to 12 rakats. It should be remembered that at the beginning of Islam, the Hajjad Salah was wajib or farud. Ayat number 4. أَوْ زِدْ عَلَيْهِ وَرَتِّلِ الْقُرْآنَ تَرْتِيلًا Or a little more, and recite the Qur'an in slow rhythmic tones. In the commentary it is mentioned, this tells us that the Qur'an in Salah should be recited with a great deal of composure and ease so that each letter is correctly pronounced. It is obligatory to recite Mad, Mushaddad, etc. correctly. It should be remembered that it is forbidden to complete the recitation of the Holy Qur'an in just one night for that person who cannot recite it clearly and with its proper pronunciation. Or the one who recites lazily and without any desire. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. My dear Islamic brothers, before I start the dars of Fizan and Sunnah, just like to urge Islamic brothers and views of social media 
to enroll on the classes of Madrasatul Baligan. And if you don't have time to attend Madrasatul Baligan, we can set up an online class which you get to choose which time you want to learn. Inshallah, they are available any time to teach, whether it is in the night or during the day. And this is very important that we rectify our tajweed. Because in our salah, we make a lot of mistakes when we're pronouncing the surah al-Fatiha. For example, alhamdulillah, if you recite it like this, may Allah forgive me for giving these examples. When we're supposed to be reciting, Alhamdulillah. For example, a brother, two brothers meet each other and they ask about their well being, and he says, Alhamdulillah, astaghfirullah. He's not pronouncing the, the words properly. He's supposed to be, Alhamdulillah. Same with the name of Allah. There's a ha at the end. Some people recite the lam in a thin tone, they say, Allah. And they even don't recite the ha. May Allah forgive me for saying this as well. But we have to recite it properly, which is Allah. Make sure you mention the ha at the end. Allah. Okay? Same again with Dru Sharif. People say, Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad. When he says, Swad, Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad. Yeah, same with Salam. A lot of people say, Salaam alaikum. Half of the words they've not pronounced properly when it's supposed to be Assalamu alaikum. Okay? Wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Now, these are just a few examples I've given you. But are you really going to make this intention, inshallah, for the reza of Allah that I need to rectify my Quran? Yeah? So, inshallah, contact me after the dars and inshallah, it will take me around about five minutes to set an online teacher. May Allah accept all our intentions and give us the ability to rectify our tajweed. Jazakallah khaira. <clears throat> Dear Islamic brothers and viewers of social media, before eating anything, drinking water or any beverage, serving food, and water to others, putting things down, picking things up, washing, cooking, reciting, studying, teaching, walking, driving, standing up, sitting down, turning on the light or the fan, lying down or removing the dining mat, folding or spreading the bed sheet, Opening and closing the shop, locking or unlocking, applying oil and perfume, delivering a speech, reciting nath, and ordering one's head with a turban, wearing shoes, opening or closing the door, that is to say before starting any permissible act where there is no shari prohibition, it is of a great virtue to make a habit of reciting Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, attaining its blessings. Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.